Hey guys, welcome back to another Expo and CocoaPods tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove CocoaPods from a certain project. So here I have the FS Calendar demo project, and I just made this to demonstrate the FS Calendar. Um, I mean, not demonstrate it, but just import it, so you can see that if I go to Pods, here we have FS Calendar, and I've just imported it here. So this is the FS Calendar project, and this is the folder in which it's located. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove it from this folder. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, I mean, how to remove pods, uh, cook pods. So, the first thing you want to do is we want to um, navigate to where this is stored, and if we do cd document slash xcode slash youtube slash, uh, let's see what this is called, FS Calendar Demo. Okay, so FS Calendar Demo. And this will be different for yours, like this is just wherever you stored it, but once you've located there, you have to run four commands. So the first one is a sudo gem install CocoaPods uh, deintegrate and CocoaPods clean. And this is going to bring in the deintegrate and clean CocoaPods. Uh, that should be, oh my god, what have I done? Okay, like that. And like that. Okay, so you want to type this one first, and I think it's going to ask me for my password. So I'll just put that in now. Uh, and like that. So once that's happened, um, you can just wait here. And why is this not worked? Uh, could not find a valid CocoaPods deintegrate. Hmm. That's quite. Oh. Okay then, uh, so I'm just going to assume that that's happened, although, let's just say it's happened. Okay, now we run a pod uh, deintegrate, and let me just make sure I spelt it right, deintegrate, and yep, I think I spelt that right, um, and now I'm going to run that, and... Oh, have I spelt it wrong? I knew I oh, I knew I spelt it wrong somewhere. So this must be where I spelt it wrong as well. Okay, let's just do this again. Okay. So uh, I don't. Maybe I don't actually have to type out this first one since it's already installed. But just write pod um, the integrate and spell it right. <laughs> and once you've done that, you see see that this has gone red and that's just because the pod file has been removed and the next thing we want to do is we want to clean the cache so if we do pod cache clean and then we select all oh, like that that should just clean it up and the first thing, last thing you do I think we have to remove the pod file so if we do rm pod file you can just see that's gone so now you might be wondering that's all it is so Let's just do a quick recap. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, if it's not already installed, you want to sudo gem install pods, CocoaPods deintegrate and make sure you spell it right. So about that, and then just type your password. But I don't think we needed that if you've already installed CocoaPods. So you might be able to skip this step, or you might not. But once you've done that, you can just run a where is it? Um, you can run a pod deintegrate and to spell it right unlike me so once you spell that right you can just do um, where have I done it here here I've done a pod deintegrate here it's taken it out and we've also done a clean we've cleaned the cache and we've removed the pod file so now what you can do is you can just delete this so if I just move that to the bin and now we can also just delete this XE workspace since there's no need for it anymore and we'll close this and now you can just open up this Xcode project like a regular project and you'll see there's no traces of FS Calendar left uh, so if I try and just type in FS Calendar nothing happens but yeah that is how you remove a pod so thanks for watching and I'm sorry for the little bit of complications but basically if I just get all of this this is basically what you do so you can just ignore all of this since I made a spelling mistake so you run a pod deintegrate, then you run a pod clash clean and all of it, remove the pod file and that is it. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys. In, oh, and if you haven't installed Cocoa Pods, remember to do uh, this step at the top, but you might not need it. Where is it? This step at the top, and enter your password. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!